Hey Tailings! Um, first of all, happy very, very, very late Tailing Tuesday. I know it's um, on a Friday this is being uploaded, but I don't know if I said this before, but I'm going to make a quick announcement again that from now on, or at least temporarily, I'm going to be uploading Tailing Tuesdays or um, Thursdays or on um, Fridays, but it's still going to be titled Tailing Tuesdays. I'm sorry, it's just due to my personal life. There's just a bunch of stuff that gets in the way. And Tuesdays are now super busy for me, but I'm still going to keep it as Tailing Tuesdays. So yeah. Um, I'm also sorry, I have to, for now, or at least this video, and hopefully only this video, um, I'm going to have to be using my iPad to record, because my phone's um, microphone slash recorder and um, headphone jack is broken. So yeah, I'm sorry for the crap quality, but um... This video is going to be kind of a very, actually no, it's going to be very important, but I'm going to put a bit of a trigger warning just in case people who are very sensitive um, or who get easily, easily triggered by it. So I'm just going to say I'm going to be talking about people who tell other people to kill themselves, or in other words, I'm going to be talking about suicide. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, um, I wrote this whole big thing on my Facebook and um, I'm also going to later in the video be talking about something a bit more uplifting, so stay tuned for that if you don't really want to listen to the darker topic of this, I guess, um, which is um, talking about Tumblr and how I made a multi-fandom blog, and we'll get to that. But, uh, sorry, I have an itch on my leg. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm wearing this because I feel like crap. I also have what we call... Um, soul plague, <laughs> me and my friend call it that, or I have minor soul plague, as it, I should say, which in other words is a minor cold, so I'm sorry if it found, sound funny. Anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing on. <sighs> Anyways, so I wrote this whole thing talking about how people had told me to my face, um, both in person and online, um, to basically go kill myself. And basically I wanted to talk about kind of what I said in this kind of long, kind of open letter thing. Um, and basically I was saying that... That um, it's not basically okay that they told me to do that. And that this isn't the first occurrence that people have told me to kill myself. And I more towards said it was the, wasn't the first time people have said that to me on here on my YouTube channel. Um, I've had other occurrences on my um, Facebook and my Instagram. Um, and also in person, like I said. But we're going to be talking about the one on my YouTube channel. And I was saying that, you know, basically, how would you like it? If I said to go kill yourself to your little or uh, little or older brother or sister or even your mother or father or someone you care about or even to you, you wouldn't like it. It wouldn't be okay. It wouldn't be fun to hear. It's not okay at all. Um, and basically I said, you know, how would you feel if I actually did go and off myself and then basically it all led back to you? And you would finally be able to maybe face the consequences um, that of your actions because you are probably one of those people that have no better hobby but to go around causing misery because you basically writhe and live in your own little misery of your own. Um, I'm just kind of paraphrasing here about what I said. Um, and basically I was saying that I am basically a survivor of trying to... Um, I have tried to kill myself before, um, and I was saying, you know what, basically, um, it, you are lucky that I am strong enough to basically have become numb to these sort of horrible and rude comments, and that I almost basically laugh at them when I read them, because I'm like, wow, these people obviously don't know any better, um, and basically I also was saying that, um, If the person, if we met in real life, I would basically want to actually treat them to a cup of tea, sit down and get to talk with them to hopefully maybe understand as to why they act the way they do. Because an order that I've learned along with bullying is that when people lash out, um, it's because they usually have their own issues and their own demons that they're fighting and they tend to do it and lash out and basically 
express themselves in a negative way and I'd like to sit down with them and just basically be able to talk to help understand where they're coming from and hopefully they do the same for me so yeah I think that basically it was it and it, it, there was a lot more detail in it and stuff like that and also, I said at the end, two other people who have been told to go kill themselves, both either in person or online, I basically said, you know, uh, don't, don't give in to these venomous words and basically show, let's all basically bond together and show them that we are stronger um, than they are and we will not let them dictate our lives. So yeah, um, so that's kind of what the gist was about that. Uh, so please tell me in the comment below what you think, and I'll also link a, um, link to my Facebook if someone needs, um, someone to talk to, uh, or if you just want, you know, to talk with me or have, give me some ideas for my face, um, from the YouTube channel and stuff like that, but mostly just, you know, to kind of have someone to talk to. But let me remind you, I am not a professional counselor or anything. I am just someone trying to do some good in this world, trying to make friends and family for people who don't have any. Um, but if you need to, please, um, I'll also link below um, some suicide hotlines and stuff like that if you really need for a real emergency. So please make sure you take care of yourselves. Please, 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 please. Take care of yourselves because you are very important um so yeah i think that's kind of the gist of it um but now i'm gonna talk about basically a, a more positive thing which actually kind of relates to what i just talked about in the way of the you know fandoms have helped me and a lot of other people or saved a lot of people's lives and made them um, be a part of a community that they probably wouldn't have been otherwise if they didn't join the fandom. Um, uh, basically, I created a multi-fandom blog, which if you don't know what that means, um, is basically a blog with a bunch of different fandoms that I post about, whether that's Supernatural, Sherlock, Doctor Who, um, Dexter, a little TV show, um, animes, mangas, uh, movies, books, video games, stuff like that. Um, what else? And basically the idea of this blog, and you're probably asking, you know, oh, on Tumblr, there's just so many of those. Um, so what's the difference with yours? Mine is not that dis different, honestly, but the um, idea I made for it was that basically people could go on there and I'd have a and a kind of was basically role-playing as a voted it would be voted each week or whenever I decide to do it um, as a character from it would be voted what fandom, what character or characters, as in it can be like two characters at once or an OTP of some sort, um, and they'd be able to answer questions for a certain amount of time. Um, but more importantly, I've done two already, which is my fandom letters, which basically the idea is that I would, you know, once again, would vote on it, and um, the end result is that I would write um, from a specific character's point of view, um, or characters, or TP, or whatever, what the topic that was voted on. Um, for example, I wrote one from Castiel from Supernatural, um, as him. I wrote it basically about this how to help with struggling with school, and it's kind of an open note, basically kind of general, like anyone can read it, be like, to you or something like that. And I also wrote another one from Teen Fear of Will, which is also from Supernatural, and it was about how to deal with grief or grieving or aka losing someone. So yeah, I'll link also below that Tumblr I made. Um, if you have a Tumblr, please feel free to follow it, or if you don't have one, um, you can check on my blog. It will say Fandom Letters. Click on that and there will be a list of all the Fandom Letters I have so far. So yeah. Um, sorry, this is kind of an all over the place video, um, my, <laughs> my cold is just getting to me and I'm just like, ugh, I can't think straight, which sucks, because I'm a germaphobe, so I'm just like, I'm dirty on the inside, but, it's not fun to, um, yeah, um, I hope this was an okay video, I hope that you can at least hear me in this one, because I did upload another video, but, 
the volume wasn't working so I deleted it so if you saw that that's why it took, got taken down taken down the <sighs> sorry and so I hope everyone is gonna be doing okay I hope everyone has a great day month year birthday weekend whatever um, make sure to take care of yourself and others and once again I will link my Facebook below um, suicide hotlines or self-harm hotlines um, other basically hotlines from all over the world that you can get in contact with um, if you need to for an emergency I um, also link the tumblr below um, and remember I am always here for you guys to talk to um, but make sure you know if you need to go to an emergency but you know I'm also here as well and other people of course care about you even if you don't think they're um, don't or if you don't feel like you have anyone you have me um, so yeah I think this will be it for the video I'm sorry this is so long um, I love you all so so much and so yeah I'm gonna go <coughs> Excuse me, I just had a really weird tea burp. That is gross. I apologize. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I'm gonna go now. Uh, so bye bye. Love you all. Mm.